seed is the first stage in the life cycle. Plant a seed and before long, the seed will begin to bloom into something beautiful. The year is 1991. While the U.S. is fighting in Iraq, peace in Madrid is being negotiated, and the New York Giants win the Super Bowl by one point. 20 to 19, the Giants beat the Bills. At the end of the world by the San Francisco Bay, a group of motivated teenagers decided to embark on a new journey, not knowing that they are planting the very first seed of a new family to be, the family of Garin Sabar. Who is this Garin member? A true Zionist? A vicious fighter? Or maybe just a person with dreams? My name is Gabe Willis and I'm from Washington, D.C. Hi, my name is Zoe Goldstein. My name is Yarden Romano. Je m'appelle Jesse Mamou, j'ai 21 ans et j'habite Paris. Меня зовут Женя Вайнберг. Я приехала из Беларуси четыре года назад, в 2008 году. My name is Havna Federhagva. I'm from San Francisco. Benjamin Mars, London, England. I'm from Toronto, Canada. A Green member is just one person with a passion. But when they all come together, this passion creates a powerful group. It's easy to feel lost in the biggest cities of the world. But every month, a special group of people meets for a weekend to realize they are not alone, but rather belong to something much bigger. I had the preparation process with my Garin in Toronto, Canada. It was really to, I think, first and foremost, to get to know the people who we would be living with for two years and to sort of be able to bond before we ended up being in Israel so we weren't thrown together. It's nice and comforting to feel like you already have a family going with you not as if you're going to an unknown place completely by yourself. Flying. Usually everything is very much the same. Arrival at the airport, check-in, security, duty-free, boarding, sleeping, airplane food, sleeping again, landing. Sounds like any other flight. But for some people from all over the world, there is one flight they will never forget. A one-way ticket to the beginning of a new journey. I felt really weird on the flight, actually. It was... I, I bawled my eyes out before I left. And I went through security and my mom and my sister waving at me. I just, I felt this like, 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 like a shift. Like I just felt all this pressure and I was like, now I'm, you know, on my own. I was jumping up and down on my chair. I was just, I couldn't stop moving around. I cried for a very uh, large portion of it. I was thinking about the fact that I saw my father cry for the first time, which was heartbreaking. I got to Israel, you know, I got off the plane. I went downstairs and I literally kneeled on the floor, put my head down and I kissed the floor and I was like, I'm home, I'm home now. In the Hebrew alphabet, there are only 22 letters with some very difficult sounds to pronounce. Het, Ayin, Resh. It's not enough to know how to read Hebrew for your bar mitzvah. A Green Sabar member must learn and study Hebrew from dusk to dawn. We're talking in Hebrew all the time outside of class and we're learning songs. We're doing games to learn places in Israel, people. One of my biggest fears was definitely not knowing enough Hebrew. Um, when I came, I, I knew barely anything. Now, I Like a seed needs oil. A Garin needs a home. Living in a hosting kibbutz or a major city as a Garin means living together. Expanding from one kibbutz to more than 50 in just 20 years and having the chance to live in the most beautiful cities in Israel has put Garin Sabar members all over the map. To come home on the weekends is one of the best experiences you can have in life. We all get together, we have like Malgal Shabbat, where we all talk about what we're up to in the army, how's everything going, you know, any problems that we're having. Not only has Green given me a, a, a base of just some amazing friends, I've also got one of the greatest host families that anyone could ever ask for. I love coming home and sitting and talking to my host at Amir over a cup of coffee. I love playing uh, soccer with his son and watching TV with the whole family. I love coming home and just having a place that I know when I get through the gate here at Kibbutz Kineret that I feel like I'm at home. 
Tanhani, Gavadi, Golani, Nahal, Tanks, Artillery, Air Force, Navy, Instructors, Education, Intelligence, and so much more. In three months packed with tests, tryouts, interviews, and physical and mental training, a Green member is drafted into the IDF. The dream becomes a reality. The Army is difficult. It's very difficult, but there's a lot that I'm getting out of it. There is no recognizable difference between myself and an 18-year-old who had to come into the Army. We really have formed into a group of people who can depend on each other, who can go to each other for support, and who can expect 24-7 that that person is going to be giving their all. I'm learning things about myself that I never thought I was able to do, and I'm pushing myself to like limits that I never thought I would be able to reach. This isn't something that was forced upon us. This isn't something that we have to do here. It's something that we're doing for ourselves and for the country and for the experience that we're going to get out of it. What has given me the strength to persevere and to not break down crying, like in the middle of a 40 kilometer massah, is the fact that I know that on Thursday when I get out after that massah, I'm going home to 20 of the best friends that I've ever had. The Green is for life. There is no finish line. Once you are a member, Kareem Sabar will be with you wherever you may go.